Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're gonna do a quick little Brighter Shores patch notes video talking about the update in today's video. Um, this was kind of a smaller update, mostly regarding small bug fixes, but there are noted more QOL improvements coming tomorrow. So this is a tweet from Andrew on X, and I just kind of want to go over some of the big things. So first off, they talked about how you actually prepare for battle. They're actually going to showcase how much of a reward penalty you're going to be getting. So let's showcase that real quickly. So if we actually cast immunity in this crime den raid, we're going to be able to recast attack and see easy battle, 31% reward penalty. So you're going to get penalized for attacking low level mobs. This is basically just going to kind of keep you away from just doing easy content the entire run through uh, and really going to stop you from just kind of abusing low level content. Uh, another thing they kind of worked on is the slight, like I said, combat balancing adjustment to fighting low level foes and it making it a little less overpowered. So they are making the penalty more than it used to be they're also showcasing exactly how much xp you're losing so a very good combo of updates there another thing that they've mentioned is making crime den raids require handcuffs such that upgrading your handcuffs gives the expected xp boost so before you actually wouldn't get a boost if you upgraded your handcuffs with the enchanter back in hope port but now if you upgrade your uh your handcuffs you're going to be good to go you're going to actually get that um, you're actually going to get that XP boost. So let's take a look here at my profession of detective and let's scroll it out. So you can see here, I actually went and upgraded it a ton after this. So you can see that I actually gave it uh, 10, which gives it an XP boost of plus 4%. So that's obviously going to be very, very helpful in requiring or getting more XP from these crime den raids. So definitely upgrade your handcuffs. If you are somebody that likes crime den raids, it's going to help you get a lot more XP. So instead for these drops, I was getting 19,000 each raid. Now I'm getting 19,800 XP, 800 XP extra per raid is huge. Um, and definitely take advantage of that update. Another thing to quickly note is they removed the bogus stats from the passive combat NPC cards. Not a big deal there. They fixed bugs with combat toad drops. So toad drops previously were having problems. They fixed those. They also fixed the divide by zero error showing up during combat. They fixed the detective investigation bug that we all talked about. So this was a big one that people were abusing. They fixed it. So the amount of XP was fixed on Saturday. This update only updates the notification to match. So interesting there. Uh, they fixed the spelling mistake on one of the adatheral cards. They fixed various places where we had accidentally written in uh, is is. So basically English was fixed or grammar. Um, minor chat filter improvements. So one thing I know that was definitely a complaint is the chat filter. And I still think that they need to improve this. Uh, you can't really say much. You can't even say sell. So if I wanted to type right now, let's actually test it. If I type in sell right now, it's going to, okay, let me this time. As you can see, I was, uh, okay, with a capital S, you actually can't type sell. But with a lowercase s, you can type sell. Um, but I was testing this out through the chat and just seeing what all was blocked. Uh, another thing that's kind of, um, new is you actually were not able to say handcuffs, even though they were in the game, you could not actually type out handcuffs. Uh, now you can. So just a little minor things like that is going to make the game better. And I'm excited for all of the future updates. They're going to be continuing to push out that just slightly improve the game, but make a difference. So another thing, fix appearance of map interface for the mine road East. We're not going to go into detail on that. It's not a big deal, but, uh, they did fix that. Um, also, they fixed the co-op woodcutting XP. That was actually in the last update. We talked about that previously, how the solo XP for woodcutting was giving you the co-op XP that you should have been earning. So it was flip-flopped, and they flipped it back, and it's uh, good to go. So that's going to be the quick update regarding Andrew and the tweet he put out today and uh, kind of just talking about all of the updates and QOL improvements that are coming tomorrow. We will have a video on that explaining and going over all of that stuff. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.